Today we're taking a look at a 1972 GMC Suburban 3 quarter ton 2500 series. Very, very hard to find, very rare truck. Most of the time you find these things in a, in a half ton 1500 series. Uh, so to find one in a 3 quarter ton, you know, is a, I wouldn't say a barn find, but definitely a, a rare commodity. These things aren't available, you know, every day. You can look on the internet and they're just, they're, they're not available. So this is a pretty cool truck and uh, we're doing this video to kind of give you an idea of what kind of shape you know, this truck is in as if you were standing here walking around it for yourself rather than just looking at you know pictures. It's a beautiful truck inside and out. You can see that from this video. The paint shines great. Just a neat, neat truck. It's got a bunch of recent upgrades and we'll kind of show you this stuff as we go along. It's got a six inch Skyjacker suspension lift. All in real good shape, all fresh. It had not been done for years and all rusted out, nothing like that. Got the upgraded dual steering stabilizers you can see right there. We've got new 37 inch Super Swamper IROC tires. The wheels, it, it, you know, if you're not familiar with these trucks, something that's kind of neat is, is these wheels are a factory upgrade to a nine and three quarter inch wide. The factory ones that came with were a eight and three quarter inch wide, so it would give her a little fatter stance, which definitely looks cool. And the coolest part about this truck is it's, you know, it's an original piece. It's not something that's been painted on 14 times and bondoed everywhere and stuff like that. And hopefully this video will give you an idea, uh, you know, kind of of that. You can see down the side, you know, it's not all, all wavy and ripply like the Atlantic Ocean. You know, where you see a bunch of shoddy body work. You can, I mean, you can just tell this, this paint is, it was original. You can see a little scratch right there. You can see some little fades here, there. There's no... You know, tape lines, if you will. If you can follow my finger right here on the way to window seals, you would see a tape line where somebody's painted it before. You would see on these door handles, you know, behind them where somebody's painted it before. All up on this, you know, quarter molding. You would see where somebody's painted it before. So definitely cool to see something like this uh, where it's still in its original condition, you know, back from 1972. The interior's incredible shape for the age. You see none of the door panels, and I'll kind of go through them all. None of them are cracked up. There's no rust on the bottom of the doors, you know, where they're all rusted out and stuff. The interior, the carpet is beautiful condition. Comes with the original floor mats. All the seats are in real good shape. There's no, you know, rips or tears or anything like that. All the dash is in good shape, and I tried to get a picture of this, but you know, there's no cracks in the dash. All the paint on the dash is real nice. It's got the factory wood grain, you know, accent little thing right there. The original headliner's in real good shape, and everything works with this thing. I mean, you can see the, you know, the dome light cut on when I open the door. When I shut it, it'll go off. You know, that's the kind of stuff you look for when you're looking at an old car to make sure it still works. Factory rear air conditioning. See the rear door panel's in real good shape. All the windows operate just the way they should. Look how clean the bottom of that door is. Absolutely no rust. The back seat's in real good shape. The only upgrades to the interior, it's got three upgrades. It's got a, a different console out of a 93 Chevy Suburban. The owner did that just to kind of give it the, um, you see the cup holders right there in the back. He did that so in case he was going to go on a trip and take his family or something, he could put, you know, put people back there and they'd have a place to set their drinks. Which actually, to be 100% honest, this truck's never been eaten in since he's had it. He's never drank anything in it. Not to say obviously for the past 30 or 40 years nobody else has, but he has it, which I think is pretty, you know, pretty cool. Stop at McDonald's, you get out, park the truck, and come on out. You don't ride through the drive-through and have French fries all over the ground. I would say the only things that uh, you know somebody could maybe pick on this truck for, if you will, is there's there's a couple spots where the paint is just starting to bubble. You can see right there on the back, on the passenger side, where the paint's bubbled right there. You could easily fix that for probably 150 bucks tops, because it's not you know obviously it's not rusted through. The truck doesn't have you know it's not rusty by any means. You see the paint in real good shape. The bumper doesn't have any any rust. The other spot I was going to show you, this this panel back here is real good, nice and clean, no rust. All the wheel wells are are nice and clean with no paint popping or anything like that. The only other spot I was going to show is right here, 
in front of the rear tire, it's got a couple small little bubbles right there. And I say bubbles, like that paint right there, I don't know if you can see it in the video because I can't see it looking at it, but it's got a couple of bubbles right there. I mean, you can see how nice this frame is. Absolutely no rust on the frame. It's got a brand new dual exhaust system from the headers all the way back. You can see how nice the shocks are. And when I say it's original, I don't wanna I don't wanna over talk this truck like it's a brand new vehicle because it's not. What I mean is that you know you can see like the little kind of it's, it's kind of like patina, like it shows its age a little bit, which you know is a good thing to show that it hasn't been you know restored and messed with. It's in an original condition, and to see something like this where they're rare and very very nice condition like this is just kind of hard to find. See all the chrome on the front bumper is good, all the. Uh, polished or chrome if you would like the grills all in real good shape with no pitting nothing like that the transmission uh, the transmission was rebuilt one year ago right about one year ago uh, truck runs and drives you know great you can use it as a daily driver if you want go ahead and open this tailgate up for you you can see all the carpet right there is real nice Again, you don't see any rust. You know, on any of this stuff. All the carpet's in real good shape. It's got 410 front and rear, 350. Uh, we'll go ahead and crank it up here in a minute. They're showing this interior real fast. And if you're not familiar with these things, it's kind of neat. Notice it's a three door, it's not a four door. It's driver's door panel in real good shape. No rust on the bottom of this door. Driver's seat in real nice shape. Let's go ahead and crank her up. Look at that, don't have to hit the gas, fires right up, sits there and idles all day long. Give me a second, I set this camera down real fast, to open this hood. It's got a new uh, Edelbrock 600 CFM carburetor, a new Edelbrock Performer Series intake manifold, you can see those right there. See a recent alternator on it, and all the you, you know something else you look for, you know the uh, wiper jug still there. All the, the original stickers from, from Chevrolet, the GM if you want to call it, still there on the fender well. All the AC stuff is still intact, and actually, uh, if you if you take the truck and you charge the air, it'll work for about a week. It's got a really really slow leak in it. It'll work for a week, but it'll ice cold. But after a week, you know, it started leaking out and started getting a little warm. So it's got a little bit of a leak somewhere, but everything's here, everything's present. So if you wanted the air to blow ice cold, it would not be a hard fix at all. Go ahead and shut this and uh, hop on in it real fast. See the four-wheel drive knob, obviously. You can see factory AC there. If you couldn't see, you know the AC compressor underneath the hood. Aftermarket CD player. All the gauges work. Oil pressure. Gas. RPMs. There's no hiccups. Like I said, it run and drive the truck every single day if you want. Temperature. Battery. Like I said, if you're looking for one of these trucks, you, you, you're not going to find another one. They're extremely hard to find, and to find one in this kind of condition for being an original, you know, an original styled truck is just man. You don't see them every day. Everywhere this truck goes, there's compliments. People want to talk about it. People want to look at it. So hopefully this video gives you an idea of what kind of condition it's in, and and uh, 
It does a little bit better justice for the truck than pitchers, you know, would. If you're interested in this truck, you can visit us online at www.autosbychoice.com or feel free to call 540-891-2277 or call Jason Direct at 540-848-2825.